Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Diggity Dog coming at you from episode three of this Let's Play Terraria 1.3 series. I am currently trapped in a hole by the undead hordes, and I'm kind of stressed right now, to be honest with you. Fired up Terraria to record today's episode, and here we are, basically close to death. Zombie bits all over us, eyeballs flapping around the place, and uh, okay, my hearts have regenerated though, so that's good. All right, awesome. We, we, we should be able to get back to the treehouse now in one piece. Hi, boy, you are driving me crazy. Take the spear directly between the crack of your eyeballs. There we go. All right, the coast is clear. Let's make it. Let's make a break for it, my friends. Let's make a break for it. The treehouse is in this direction, not very far away. Undead, get out of the way, please. Okay, we're, we're making it. Wyatt, Wyatt, if you are there, I am calling you, dude. I need your help. Healing potion, eyeball, get out of the way. Okay, we made it. We made it. So sweet. Well, that was a stressful way to start today's episode, my friends. Whew. Luckily, the sun is coming up. The zombies are clearing. Wyatt is alive, which is excellent. And we're back in the tree house. Excellent. We've just got back from an amazing adventure east where we found a desert. We managed to find a whole bunch of cactuses also. We found 32 bits of cactus, which means we might be able to complete our armor set of the cacti, which is awesome. In today's episode, my friends, we are going to be going on a bit of a mission. And we're going to be going down that first very big cave that we found in yesterday's episode. It's going to be awesome. And, and, my plan for today's episode is that you and I are going to have a chat. We're going to have a, a pretty serious chat about the series and about what you guys want out of this Terraria series with me, Ren Diggity 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 Dog. So, sit back and relax, my friends. Let's get our Terraria on. Now, the first thing that I want to do is head over to my workbench over here. Um, I don't know if I actually made this workbench on, on camera, guys, but it's pretty easy to make. All you need is some weed. Uh, you can see that uh, workbench needs 10 wood and the workbench is where you make everything right so check it out this workbench allows us to craft all of this sweet jazz and i'm gonna make myself a piece of cactus armor we got 32 uh cactuses which means we'll be able to make 25 cactus for some legs wow that is expensive what about the helmet 20 cactus for a helmet you know what i'm not putting that helmet on my afro man do you guys have any idea how long it takes to groom this afro before every episode it takes forever, and I am not going to be putting cactus slime up in my afro. All right, we're going to have to just make some leggings for today, guys. There we go. Yeah, we'll get 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 our leggings on. Uh, there we go. One defense, two defense from the breastplate. So we got three defense. That's not too bad. The afro gives us uh, another one defense. Um, it actually doesn't, guys, but let's just pretend, right? Now I'm going to head over to the furnace over here, guys. You make a furnace by using, I think it's 30 stone and some wood, and we're going to turn all of these ores that we found in the previous episode into bars, and once those are bars, we can then use them to create armor and tools and weapons. We're not going to have enough of this jazz yet, though. You need a ridiculous amount of, um, of these bars to do anything in Terraria, just FYI. Now, uh, why am I telling you guys all of this? Well, some of you guys have been mentioning in the comments of the previous episode that I am going a little bit too fast for you. And uh, I do apologize for that, guys. I do have a, a few hundred hours in Terraria. Um, I've played this game quite a lot, so... You know, it's kind of, it's, I, I kind of get into a sort of autopilot mode when I'm playing. And I definitely don't want to leave you guys behind. So I'm going to take it a little bit more slowly. I know that a lot of, oh, wait, okay, I'm noobing out here. I'm freaking putting the things in the chest and then taking them out again, like a true pro. Um, but guys, I'm going to try my best not to leave you guys behind. Uh, and I do apologize if I've been going a little bit fast so far in the series. But, uh, and of course, for those of you guys who are pros, be patient. There are peeps out there who are watching Terraria for the very first time. They don't know what's cracking. So be patient. We will all get there together. And uh, by the end of the series, we're all going to be Terraria professionals with no tombstones anywhere near our buildings. Am I right? Famous last words. <laughs> oh, man. But check it out, guys. I've just arranged my inventory. We have about 28 silver coins, 38 copper coins. What I want to try and do in today's episode is actually get 50 silver coins because that's going to get the merchant NPC to move into our house. Now, what I'm going to do over here is uh, use this housing option to use the housing query thingy 
to see if this room is eligible and it is this housing is suitable so we'll be able to get another merchant another npc to move into our house if we can get to 50 silver coins if we can find some more hearts our life if we, if we can increase our life to i think it's 120 we will summon a nurse npc to come live in our house too so we're gonna have to make another room for her but i don't think that's going to happen in a while guys so um, for now, we're just going to try and get the merchant on board. Wyatt has arrived already, of course. And uh, one of my primary missions in this series is actually to make that butthole a toilet. Because uh, he is stanking up the place something crazy. And, you know, we had a we had a man-to-man -man discussion um, off camera while you guys were away. And Wyatt explained to me that, you know, he needs... He, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a human. You know, he's got to go when he's got to go. And I haven't provided any ablution facilities, so I can't get angry with him. And and that's okay. I understand. I'm still angry with him because he has a terrible hairstyle. And that's why I, I you know, that I still hate him for that. But I can accept the fact that, you know, he's got to do what he's got to do. So, primary goal, make Wyatt a bathroom. <laughs> but check it out, guys. Here we are in the very first big cave that we discovered on our exploration east in the previous episode. And I want to go down here, man. I want to see if we can find some more chests. And what I really want to do is find some more ores, right? Because we need to upgrade our armor. Even though this cactus armor is pretty awesome, nice and spiky, and it looks really cool. Uh, it's kind of slimy, kind of disgusting. It's very moist in here. I can tell you that much. Um, if you guys can imagine just, you know, I don't know, doing laundry for example, right? You do a load of laundry and then you put the clothes on as you take them out of the laundromat, right? That's what it kind of feels like wearing this, this janky ass cactus armor. So I want to try and get myself into some met metallic armor as soon as I can possibly can. And the only, only way we can do that is by finding some more ores. So let's head down into this cave system, see what we can discover. And while we're doing this, you and I, we're going to have a, we're going to have a chat, man. We're going to have a chat about this Terraria series, this 1.3 Terraria series with me, the Ren Diggity Dog and you, the Cyber Dog Nation and friends from all over the freaking world ow okay just took an arrow to the afro um ow no oh uh healing potion okay oh there's a freaking trap here yeah there's a trap here check it out guys and put this torch down you see this little brown thing over here that's a pressure plate and that is triggering yeah that's triggering a poison dart trap over there so whoo that was close. Uh, I was panicking there. I had no idea why I was freaking losing life. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, there, there it is. Look at it. Look at it with its little smiley face. I'm gonna kill it. Get fragged. Freaking dart trap. We could actually use that dart trap, right? With the pressure plate and the dart trap. Oh, we could make some cool traps. Okay, it's, it's a done deal, guys. I'm gonna collect some traps if I find them. And we're gonna make an anti-zombie trap thingy to protect our treehouse. That's a sweet idea. Check it out, guys. A mother load of silver. Excellent. Now, what I don't know, uh, um, I was explaining earlier, I have played a lot of this game, but man, a long time ago, man. I played this game like a couple years ago. I can't really remember the uh, hierarchy of the, of the ores. I think that, for example, silver is more powerful than lead, and lead is more powerful than copper. I think, okay? I'm not 100% sure on that, so don't take my word for it. But we're just going to collect every single ore that we that we can find. Because what's awesome in Terraria is that even though the ores become useless as items later on in the game, you can actually use them for crafting. So I think you can make like copper, um, copper bricks and silver bricks and stuff like that. And they look absolutely awesome. Um, so I'm definitely going to be collecting all the bits, all the stuffs that I see I'm going to be collecting. And actually... This brings me very nicely onto what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And I want to talk about this Terraria series. Now, firstly, I want to start off our little chat today by thanking you all for the support. It has been absolutely amazing, guys. Honestly, I really didn't expect so many people to be enjoying this Terraria series, to be commenting so much, to be hitting that like button, something crazy. You guys have been owning that like button, man. It's been absolutely amazing. And I thank you for every single time you clicked on it. And uh, I'm just so happy to see that you guys are enjoying the series because I truly am loving it. Um, I absolutely adore this game. Uh, for those of you guys who have been with me for a very long time, check out the new water mechanics, man, kicking in. They look beautiful, right? Um, Terraria is probably one of my favorite games of all time. It's definitely in the top three of my favorite games of all freaking time. I, I just love it. I love everything about it. 
But <laughs> there's a funny story actually about my love for Terraria that I wanted to tell you guys uh, because it, it sort of fits what I want to talk to you about quite nicely. When I first started on YouTube, the very first series that I made, I think I guys, I think I mentioned it in the previous episode, uh, but the very first series that I did was Terraria. Now, back in those days, I was a, I was a, a general noob all round. Okay, um, I've always loved computer games, but I've never been like a super, uh, a super competitive gamer. I've just played games since I was a kid. Since I was ten years old, I've played games, and you know what? I will play games until I'm freaking sixty years old, man. Until the last day on earth, on my deathbed, I'm gonna be playing either Minecraft or Terraria. I'm gonna be like, my children, I love you all. Here's all of my stuff. You can has my computer. Now leave me alone. I'm playing Terraria. <laughs> and then I'll just die. But I'll die a happy man. I think I just picked up a glow stick. Yes. Check out these glow sticks, guys. They're so awesome. Um, you can chuck them into water to see what's going down. Oh, nice. There's a there's a vase down there. So let's get that one. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yes. So when I first started on YouTube, I was playing Terraria. Something crazy. Now, the funny thing is, is that I actually thought that, Terra that Minecraft was a terrible 3D version of Terraria. I know, that sounds crazy, right? Because if you guys recall, Minecraft came before Terraria, I think. Uh, and so at, at the time, it was kind of the other way around, right? People were hating on Terraria, something crazy, man. Uh, there was a very big hatred for Terraria from the Minecraft community because, you know, Minecraft just felt, oh, this is just a clone. This game is just trying to, you know, uh, benefit from the success of Minecraft. This is rubbish. We hate this game. Uh, that couldn't be further from the truth Because even though Terraria and Minecraft uh, are, are, are the same genre, they are both sandbox crafting games They couldn't be more different. I mean they are extremely different games. This red slam is owning me Eat shuriken BAM <laughs> Nice uh, hit a healing potion also because things ain't looking good um, But yeah back in the day I oh That was close is there a pressure plate down here? Brown pressure plate. Mm-hmm. Wow. Almost took it to the butt there. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let me just get a torch down here. Throw a glow stick down into this chavern. Anything down there? Oh, my goodness, guys. It is getting quite scary down there. Okay. Let's see. Did we miss anything? I feel like I may have missed something up here. No? All right. Let's venture forth. Um, so, man. Sorry, guys. Being distracted here, man. Trying to get the story up. <laughs> um, but yeah, back in the day, oh, look at this, look at this, this is amazing, we get cobble, oh, we, uh, I can't even speak right now, there's a golden chest and cobwebs, which means we can make a bed, and we can now set our spawn in our treehouse, so we're not going to be able, we're not going to spawn all the way out in the middle of nowhere anymore, this is awesome, Oh my goodness. Okay, this is awesome, guys. Let me just get this all lit up, right? I don't want any freaking surprises. Um, and we're going to crack that chest open. And I promise I'm going to finish my story. I promise, guys. Put the torch down. Okay, okay. This is awesome. We could get anything in this chest. We could get something really amazing. We could get something terrible. Let's just get some more torch action around here. There's a red slime. He's not happy over there. I don't care. And there's a little workbench here, too. So I'm going to pick that up. Okay. Terraria gods, Eye of Cthulhu, here is your chance to give me something so beat. Kaplam! Jagged Hermes boots. The we oh, the wearer can run super fast. That is insanely good for us, man. Where do I put these? Here, in the accessories. Plus one percent damage. Also, what are these? Hunter's potion, recall potion, lesser healing potions, fourteen silver bars, and a whole bunch of bombs. Wow, that is an excellent chest. Oh, that, okay. My day has just been made, guys. I went from being super happy because I've just come back from Minecon 2010 to being ultra ridiculously happy because I'm playing Terraria to being super mega awesome, ridiculously, ultimately, ridiculously over 9,000 happy because look at these boots. Look at me run. Look at me go, baby. Look at me fly. <laughs> oh, this is epic. And look, they've got little wings on them also. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's just calm down. Let's just calm down now. Um, let's just get some torture action around here. Let's calm down. Whew. All right, things are going well. Nice. Golden chest of awesomeness. Archery potion, lead. And I'm pretty sure I saw some more ore up there. So I'm going to get back there and do a little bit more mining. Now, let's get back to my story, guys. 
Oh man, sorry guys, I'm super excited today. Uh, that was an absolutely epic find because we get to make our bed now too, so, um, oh, so good. Now, what was I saying? Oh yes, okay, so I started playing Terraria on YouTube, that's right. I thought that Minecraft was a terrible version of Terraria, which is kind of hilarious, right? But the weird thing is that if it wasn't for Terraria, right, I would never have made Minecraft videos. In fact, if it wasn't for Terraria, I probably wouldn't be a YouTuber because Terraria is what started me playing playing on YouTube and tr and trying to make a YouTube channel. So it's kind of strange how at the time when I thought that um, Terraria was a clone of Minecraft, it actually ended up being the reason for my channel. In fact, I reckon, Cyberdogs, we could thank Terraria for our 98,000 subs and our, our Rendog YouTube channel and everything that we've achieved in Minecraft and our survival series. We could thank Terraria for being invited to the Kingdom Craft server. We could thank Terraria for all of the good times we've had with all the other games that we played on the channel because this is where it all started, man. And you know what? As a lover of Minecraft, Minecraft being one of my favorite games of all time, I am equally a lover of Terraria. And here's my question to you guys. In fact, this is a question that I wanted to ask you today. You guys out there, how many of you play Terraria and Minecraft at the same time? And more importantly, did you feel the same as I did a couple years back when Terraria first came out? Did you just think, oh, Terraria's jank, man. This is a janky ass game. I'm not gonna play it. I'm gonna stick to Minecraft because Minecraft is, is for pros, Terraria's for noobs. And I'd also like to know how many of you guys out there have never played Terraria before, and if this is your very first experience of Terraria, right? I'd also like to know that, guys. So let me know in the comment section below, man. Loads of questions for you today. Um, so get typing. I hope your fingers are ready for some typage. Let's see what's up here, man. I got a feeling there was something sweet. No, nothing up here. But what an epic find. Golden chest with Hermes boots in. That's awesome. Why is there an arrow here in the ground? That's kind of weird, right? Seems super glitchy. All right, let's get this lead in the belly. We're going to continue on this little exploration down into the pits. See what we can discover. I'm going to admit, cyber dogs, I was a little bit nervous about coming down into this giant cave because it's kind of scary, but it's looking fairly passive down here. So I'm pretty happy because I need a little bit of time without being interrupted by the undead or freaking dangerous beasts trying to kill me to have one final chat with you before we end today's episode. And I want to have a quick talk about this series and where this series is progressing, how it's progressing, and more importantly, how you guys want this series to progress. I've been reading the comments of the, the series very, very closely, and uh, I'm trying to sort of figure out the best way for me to play this series with you guys. Now, I know that some of you out there are a little bit frustrated about uh, the, the, the pace of the series. You guys feel that I'm going a little bit too slowly. In fact, I think I read a comment saying, Ren Dog, you're going way too slow. Other YouTubers are going to finish this game before you even get started. You need to hurry up and, and uh, you know, do a whole bunch more stuff. You need to progress much faster. Um, and I know that a, a couple of you guys felt like that. And I, I think I kind of just want to have a chat about that particular point first. Now, I am playing this series at my own pace right? I'm pretty much playing the series exactly the same way that I would play my play the series if I wasn't recording. I'm playing the series as if you guys are sitting next to me right here in my living room in uh, the, 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 the real life Rendog kennel. <laughs> um, and we're just jamming together, you know, having some fun playing Terraria. That, that is kind of how I personally want to play the series. I don't want to rush it. I want to experience every beautiful part of this game from the very beginning all the way to the very end. And I don't want to rush through it because you know what there is so much beautiful stuff in this game it is abs it's going to take forever to uh, to experience everything so if you guys are here uh, looking for a sort of fast paced terraria series where you know I, I make loads and loads of progress and and i kill the bosses really quick and we do speed runs and we find the best gear and all of that sort of stuff Th this is not going to be one of those series and uh, you know, I, do I wouldn't mind if you stop watching That's totally cool. You know, you, you are looking for a different type of Terraria series and that is totally fine by me But what I'm gonna be doing is playing this series the way that I want to play it But what I want to ask you guys is 
are you happy with the pace that we're going right now? Would you, for example, like me to do a few more cuts, maybe spend a little bit of time crafting and then bring you guys in? So, you know, do a little bit of exploring off camera, uh, get a few more bits of gear before we, we move on to the next episode, just so that it feels like things are moving along a little bit more quickly. Or are you guys happy to stay with me every single uh, second of the way as we're doing now? I'll do a few cuts here and there just for a few minutes. You know, sometimes I need to take a little bit of break from talking maybe I need to take a drink of welder um, or just just explore uh, or do something off camera um, that's kind of how I would like to do it right we're gonna kill these jellyfish because I think the jellyfish give us um, more glow sticks right give me the glow sticks yes yes jellyfish give us glow sticks but we need to breathe also breathe Whew. Baby, that was freaking close. So guys, now is your opportunity to help me make this series as awesome as possible. The question is, are you guys happy with the pace of the series? Would you like it to go faster? Would you like it to go slower? Or would you like it to just continue as it's going right now? Personally, the way that I'm playing it right now is the way that I would like to play the rest of the series. So um, bear that in mind too, guys. But if the majority of you guys want a, a little bit of a change, I'm happy to oblige because we're in this together, man. We're enjoying Terraria together. And speaking of enjoying, this has been an absolutely fantabulous episode. I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. Can't believe we found these Hermes boots, guys. So awesome. Uh, they have increased our speed something crazy. And it looks like there is something crazy going down there. Are you guys looking down there? Wow, that was close. Look at that, man. There is some glowing craziness happening. Looks absolutely awesome. But unfortunately, we have run out of time for today. And what is that? What is that over there? 